Well, the P wave simply represents atrial electrical activity. And if you don't see the atrial electrical activity, one can't really define what the heart rhythm is from just the ventricular electrical activity. So being able to see both the P wave and the QRS, which stands for the ventricular signal, sometimes abbreviated to the R wave. The P and the R wave are uh, both important in any rhythm diagnosis. So one must see the P wave. And to do so, though, requires a totally different engineering design of the electric cardiogram because it's a very low amplitude, low frequency content signal compared to the ventricular signal, which is high amplitude, high frequency content. And the engineering approach to those two rhythm disorders is, or those two rhythm features is quite different. But both of them are necessary if one is going to precisely diagnose the host of different rhythm problems that can manifest. Sometimes those rhythm problems appear to be atrial fibrillation when they are not, and vice versa. Some rhythm problems can appear to be other rhythms that are in fact atrial fibrillation. And in order to sort that out, one needs to see both the atrial signal or P wave and the ventricular signal or R wave.